guys, it's Rachel. So today my hair is parted in the center, which can only mean one thing. Yes, you are right. I am doing a Vampire Diaries inspired tutorial. So the Vampire Diaries has just recently started back season 4, the first episode aired in Australia this week. So I'm super, super excited. I actually sneaked or sneakily watched it last week online. So to celebrate it being back on TV, I did a makeup and hair tutorial inspired by what Elena Gilbert was wearing in the first episode. So very simple neutral makeup and very simple hair, but I thought it would be fun to do. And it's very kind of Halloween inspired because I don't know, the Vampire Diaries makes you think of Halloween, you know, vampires, werewolves, witches, all that kind of stuff is very Halloween-esque and that is that time of year. So that is why I decided to do this tutorial. And if you would like to see how to get this makeup look and the hair, then keep on watching. And if you stick around to the end, I do have a little announcement to make because I'm super excited about the Vampire Diaries being back on TV. To get Elena's flawless but natural looking skin, I'm going to start by applying my Origins Vita Zing all over my face to create a really nice base. Then I'm going to take my Garnier Miracle Skin Perfector BB Cream for combination to oily skin and I'm going to dab a little bit all over my face with a brush and then I'm going to blend it in using a beauty blender or beauty pod sponge just to really make it blend in with the skin and look very, very natural. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Highlighting Concealer just to highlight any areas of my face where the light would naturally touch and to cover up any blemishes or imperfections on my skin. And again I'm taking that beauty blender or beauty pod sponge to blend this in. Now we want to keep that natural look to the skin so we don't want to powder it down too much but you do want to set your makeup so I'm using the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder in the colour Darkest Brown. I'm just going to take this on a big fluffy powder brush and just apply this towards the center of my face along the T-zone just to help keep this matte. This color actually also has it a little bit darker than my skin so it adds a little bit of warmth to my face and brings it more in line with Nina Dobrev's skin color. Elena's makeup is a very no makeup kind of look but you do want to add a little bit of warmth to your face so I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzing Powder in Milk Chocolate. This is a really nice light bronzer. I'm going to take that same powder brush. This is the blush brush from Real Techniques. I'm just going to swirl and take a very, very light bit of bronzer, tap it on. We're just going to apply this towards the outside of our face, so along our temples, along our cheekbones, and then bring it down your jaw and along your neckline. Moving on to eyes, Elena's eyebrows aren't overly groomed or overly filled in, but they are nicely defined. So I'm going to take my Sigma Brow and Lash EAD Eyebrow Groomer and I'm just going to run it through my eyebrows lightly. Then taking my Sigma Angled E75 brush and a mixture of Max Charcoal Brown and Omega eyeshadows, I'm going to use this just to lightly fill in my brows. This eyeshadow look is very, very simple, however, we do want to keep those eyeshadows on and stop them from creasing, so I'm going to take the MAC Paint Pot in Nubile just as a little bit of a base for these eyeshadows to stick to. Now in this episode, Elena seems to be wearing a bronzy coloured eyeshadow just all over the lid quite lightly, so I'm going to use MAC's Woodwinked on a Sigma E25 blending brush, just taking a small amount on the tip of the brush and tapping off any excess and then you just want to blend this lightly all over the lid. You don't need to bring this colour up too high, just keep it on the lid. Once that colour is on, you just want to blend it out using a clean fluffy brush. Once you have that all blended out, you just want to take a matte highlight colour. I'm using Max Blanc Type. And I'm going to take it on that same fluffy brush and just run this along the brow bone. Again, we want to keep this natural. It's not really a definite or noticeable highlight. I just want to use this almost to blend out those colours between the natural skin and that wood-winged eyeshadow. 
Once that's done, we want to line our eyes. Now, Layla doesn't have a lot of eyeliner, particularly on the bottom lash line, so I'm just going to take a little bit of Matte's Charcoal Brown on an angled brush. And we just want to run this right along the lower lash line in the actual lashes. This is just going to define the eye and make the lashes look a little bit fuller. For the upper lash line, I'm going to take CoverGirl's Liquid Line Blast Eyeliner Pencil in the color brown and I'm going to run this very, very lightly in between my upper lashes. I want to really push it in between the lashes so the line is not too obvious but so the lash line is defined. find that you have an obvious line, take a pencil brush, I'm using Max 219 and just run it along the lash line to smudge that line out slightly. To finish up our eyes, it's time for eyelashes. Now, Elena's lashes do have a natural look to them, they're quite soft, they don't look like she's wearing a whole heap of mascara, but she does have quite a few lashes. Her lashes are very, very full, very wispy, and most of us aren't born with those kind of lashes. So I'm going to curl my lashes and then apply some Ardell Fashion Lashes in number 120 Demi Black. When I'm applying false lashes, I like to take the lash and actually wrap it around my pinky and let it sit there for a few seconds just so it will curve a little bit more and help it more easily apply to the natural lash line. To apply the accent lashes, I'm going to use a little bit of duo lash adhesive. You just want to give that a few seconds for the glue to go tacky. Once the glue is dry, you can blend those lashes in by taking a little angled brush and just getting a little bit of that brown CoverGirl eyeliner on the tip of it and then just run this along the top of the upper lash line. Just blend that in with the glue. You can actually just pat it in if that's easier. And that completes the eye look. So zooming back out to do the rest of the face, I once read an interview with the makeup artist for the Vampire Diaries, particularly Elena's makeup artist, and she mentioned that the cheeks are kept very, very neutral, just a very light peachy pink blush on the outsides of the cheek. So that's what I'm going to do for this look. I'm going to take the CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Rose Silk and just take this Hakuhodu blush brush, apply a little bit to the tip of that and just sweep this on the outer part of my cheeks. And lastly for lips, Elena's lips are generally kept fairly neutral unless she's going to a special occasion. In this particular episode, her lips did seem to have a little bit of colour on it at the start and then it slowly wore off as the episode progressed. So I'm going to take the Maybelline Lip Liner Pencil in the colour number 120 Nude and I'm just going to use this to line my lips. Elena was wearing a pinky brown neutral lip colour so I'm going to take the Revlon Lip Butter in the colour number 001 Pink Truffle. Instead of applying this directly to the lips, I'm going to take a little bit on my finger and just rub this lightly into my lips. There you have it, that's the completed makeup look. As you can see, it's very natural, very neutral and I think it would be perfect for everyday wear. So moving on to part 2 of this tutorial, it is time for hair. So in this particular episode, Elena was sporting her trademark center part straight glossy locks. So to achieve that look, first I'm going to spray a little bit of heat protectant in my hair. So I'm using the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Protective Spray. I'm just going to spritz a little bit of this into the ends of my hair. All over. And I'm going to take a brush and brush that through. Next, I'm going to actually section my hair up into two sections, so I'm going to just take from about the temples around, it doesn't have to be super even or neat, I'm just going to twist that onto the top of my head and then clip that up. To straighten my hair today, I'm actually going to use the InStyler, which is this little device right here. 
it, when it shuts, it spins around, and I feel like this will give a really nice look. It gives your hair a little bit of body, but still smooths it out, makes it sleek. It doesn't press it too much, so it goes dead straight. It gives it a real natural straight look, and you can use a little roller to give you that little bit of a curl towards your face at the bottom of your hair, which is what Elena has in this particular episode. However, if you don't have an install, it's perfectly fine. You can just do this step using a normal flat iron, and when you get to the bottom of your hair, just flick it under slightly just so you get that really nice flick at the end. It's not dead straight. take down the top section of my hair and continue to do that but before we move forward we do want to part our hair in the center of our head because that is what Elena does so I'm just gonna go it doesn't have to be perfectly center as I've said in multiple videos before if you don't suit a center part which I don't think I do you can go slightly off center and you'll be surprised how much better that suits you or how much more you like that look so it's worth trying out if you want to rock a center part but can't quite pull it off or you don't feel like that you like it that your hair that particular way. Then just brush it out and continue to straighten the rest of your hair. Once you have your hair straightened the way that you like it, I'm going to add a little bit of extra shine to my hair by using the Girls Only Hair Care Dry Spray Conditioner. This is just a conditioning spray that you can spritz on the ends of your hair, and I find that it just gives it a really nice shine. So brush that through and that will just give your hair some really nice shine and polish the look. So that is the finished look and that completes the hair part of this tutorial. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed. As you can see, it's a very neutral look. If you don't like wearing a lot of makeup, then I think this look would be perfect for you. And since you did stick around to the end, I do have a special little announcement. I am giving away a copy of Season 3 of The Vampire Diaries on DVD in celebration of the fact that Season 4 has just started. So if you would like to enter to win Season 3 on DVD, all you have to do is leave a comment below letting me know which character in The Vampire Diaries is your favourite, and you will be entered to win. Now, to be eligible, you do need to be subscribed to both of my channels that's this channel and my second channel Rachel Likes Ramble both of which will be listed in the bottom bar below you also need your parent or guardian's permission if you are under the age of 16 because I will need your shipping details and I am going to open this up internationally so you're more than welcome to enter if you're in another country however I do want to mention that this DVD is a zone 4 DVD and certain DVD players won't play DVDs from different parts of the world however most of these days do newer DVD players will and cheaper DVD players will generally play all zones so just be wary of that but like I said you can enter internationally I'm more than happy to ship it to you if you are the winner so you can enter once per YouTube account and I'll leave the giveaway open for two weeks I'll put the exact date of closing in the bottom bar below so now that is officially it from me I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time bye to be back it's so cool okay calm down Rachel calm down do the video be cool I'm so not cool <laughs> I now have a burn on my inner thigh of all places from my instyler I leaned over mid filming and burnt myself this hit my skin and burnt me which is why I think that YouTube should come with danger money because I've burnt myself like five or six times pretty badly while filming videos because you just I don't even know I don't even know how I could even explain to somebody why I have a burn from a hair tool on my leg but it hurts like hell you guys see my witch I should show you <coughs> look at that oh, I love Halloween <laughs> Bonnie, but green. <laughs>
ghost just wanna have fun.